I am Dr. Coleman Martin, an interventional neurologist at St. Luke's Hospital in Kansas City, Missouri. This is Interventional Stroke Rounds. Today we are talking about the foundation of neurointerventional procedures, the angiogram. Angio meaning blood vessel and gram meaning writing or recording. A doctor may order an angiogram of the brain to look for an aneurysm, measure an arterial blockage, discover the cause of a stroke, or in today's patient's case, reassess a treated vascular malformation. The best angiograms require placing a catheter like this one inside the body and taking x-ray pictures with this piece of equipment, a neurointerventional biplane suite. This unit made by General Electric is composed of two high-resolution x-ray cameras that can independently swivel and rotate around a patient's body and head. A catheter is used to inject iodine-based contrast. Here's an optical image of a catheter injecting contrast. Here's the same catheter under x-ray. It is also possible to digitally enhance the x-ray image to show the flow of contrast in much sharper detail. With digital enhancement, we can see blood vessels as small as a thread. The next 60 seconds demonstrates an angiogram being started and shows a small amount of blood. We will be working from this man's left groin. We enter the vascular system through the femoral artery. Here I am numbing the skin overlying the artery with the local anesthetic lidocaine. This is the most uncomfortable part of the angiogram and feels like a small pinch and a brief burn. An area about the size of a quarter is numbed from the skin to the surface of the artery. Once numb, I place a small needle in the artery. Through the needle, I introduce a small wire which I exchange for a larger wire and in turn for a sheath that I use to pass a catheter into the body. Now we can begin our exploration. I am advancing a catheter and glide wire inside the arteries from the groin to the chest. The wire helps to steer the catheter inside the body. When the wire reaches a destination, in this case the aortic arch, the catheter is pushed over the wire and the wire removed. The catheter, now hollow, is used to inject contrast which lets us see the arterial branches. I am moving the catheter to the right common carotid artery. Now we take a picture of the artery. Here is the same picture with digital enhancement. I am advancing the catheter to the right internal carotid artery so we can take pictures of the blood vessels of the right side of the brain. The contrast I'm injecting is showing the arteries now. This enlarged, unenhanced picture shows the skull and the brain's right-sided blood vessels. Digital enhancement removes the bone from the picture, highlighting the blood vessels. Now I am moving the catheter to the left carotid artery. This young patient has unusually straight and very healthy blood vessels, so I'm not using the wire to reposition the catheter. I am injecting contrast and we see a picture of the left common carotid artery. I advance the catheter to the left internal carotid artery so we can view the blood vessels of the left side of the brain. I am injecting contrast and here we see the simultaneous views from both x-ray cameras. I am repositioning the catheter to the left vertebral artery so the vessels of the back of the brain can be imaged. I inject contrast and we see the blood supply to the back of the brain concluding the cerebral angiogram. Having removed the catheter it is time to remove the sheath. To prevent bleeding after sheath removal pressure is applied. After about 15 minutes pressure is relieved and this patient is transported to recovery for four hours of bed rest.
While our patient is recovering, all the pictures are carefully studied. Later today, I will give results to our patient and a report will be available to his referring doctor. Not all angiograms are performed during daylight hours. For years, St. Luke's has maintained 24-hour-a-day, 7-day-a-week angiogram services. If there is a vascular emergency, we have you covered. I hope you found interventional stroke rounds interesting. At St. Luke's Hospital, we're committed to stroke and interventional education. Feel free to share this video on your blog, Facebook, and Twitter. Another stroke. Gotta go.